Sometimes speed is an addiction. It takes over your life and makes you feel and do things you thought you never would. But the good thing about speed is it can be rewarding. You can meet new friends, see new places, experience new things, see the fruits of your labor. Enjoy speed while you have it, because one day, this life that goes on too fast will be gone. Okay, so I wanted to touch on a subject today that I've noticed a lot of lately, and that is people's confusion between the difference in boost threshold and boost lag. So to start off, in case you're not extremely familiar with how a turbo works, you're like, it just goes and car goes faster or something. I don't know. Um, basically, a turbocharger is an exhaust-driven supercharger. So with a turbo, you have... Um, all right, let's say that this is a turbo wheel, right? So this is the exhaust side of the turbo, the turbine. Okay, this will be in the exhaust housing. In turn, exhaust flows over it, causes it to spin. It's connected by a shaft to the compressor wheel, which has a shaft connected to it. It, in turn, compresses air, forces it into the engine. More oxygen allows you to use more fuel. If you use more fuel, you make more horsepower with sufficient tuning and several other variables, but that's the basics of a turbo. Well... With boost threshold, basically it is the RPM at which the engine is delivering enough exhaust gas to be able to turn the turbocharger at a rate that it starts producing positive pressure into the engine boost. It is the threshold of where the turbo makes nothing and starts to build boost. For instance, with this car, which I will show you here, um, in a later part of this video, you have the boost threshold, which is 1500 RPM. The car will actually start building boost at 1500 RPM. Um, and you'll get full boost at about 2500 RPM if you do that. But I don't like loading it up that hard at that low of an RPM, especially in a gear like third or fourth. So, um, usually I roll on about 3000 RPM when I'm doing a roll or launch at 3000 RPM when I'm at the track. But, um, what boost lag is, is it is the amount of time from when the throttle is fully open to when the turbo makes full boost after boost threshold. So if you're before the boost threshold, of course you're not going to make boost because the engine's just simply not producing enough exhaust gas, even with the throttle wide open. But if you're past the boost threshold and the throttle goes wide open, boost lag is the time from when that throttle plate snaps open and when the turbo is making full steam, full boost at whatever your level is. So say this car, for instance, where it's a 2.2 liter four cylinder with 7.8 to one compression that has um, a IHI RHB5 VJ11 turbo on it. So basically it's like the turbo on a 2.2 Subaru Legacy SS from the factory. They're almost the exact same, just different housings. So very, very small turbo. And then you take this car and you put an HX40 on it, right? Well, the boost threshold will no longer be 1500 RPM as it was with the BJ11 because it's going to take a lot more exhaust gas to be able to turn that much heavier exhaust wheel, much heavier shaft, much bigger compressor wheel that's got a lot more volume of air it has to compress because the housing is much bigger. The turbine has to have a lot more exhaust because the turbine housing is bigger. So you have a higher boost threshold. And not only that, but it's more inertia to get that that assembly spinning. So um, uh, there's going to be more lag once you're past the boost threshold. My guess would be with a 63AR Tim's Turbos exhaust housing on my HX35, for instance, I'll see full boost at 3,000 to 3,500 RPM, somewhere around there on stock compression. Um, the boost threshold will probably be 2,000 to 2,250 RPM, maybe 2,500 RPM when it actually can start building positive boost but I imagine it won't be full steam till 3,000 to 3,500 at least. Um, 
So, I mean, this is a small, simple explanation with fucking body plug. And I don't have a turbo handy taken apart to show you, but I see a lot of confusion on this subject. So I figured that I would touch on it. Um, I added a couple of videos. Um, I hope you like them. Um, they are just an example of boost threshold versus boost lag. So I hope you, uh, learned a little bit from that video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want. Um, hopefully it was a little informative. For those that don't believe... Pretty much instant.